Hey guys, Captain Keaton Anderson here at Fly TFO on the Fitted to Fish YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about tarpon leaders and uh, a little bit about how to set your own up as well. So at the shop we offer three different kinds of leaders um, for tarpon, kind of a mix of, of uh, weight classes and so on. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Umpqua tarpon leader. This one is a little bit unique in that they take a pre-tapered leader and then tie a bimini and it looks like it's a slim beauty down to a bite. Kind of cool idea if you want a little bit more transfer of energy throughout your your whole system. A um, little bit different than everybody else though. The next one we got is the Rio 60 fluoro shock. Um, this one is set up just from your class down to your bite so your butt section is up to you on how you want to set that up and i'll explain it a little later when i go over kind of the way i i do things um so this one's set up it's got a bimini with a furled um loop on the end so if you wanted to connect your butt section loop to loop which i don't necessarily recommend but for ease of of changing leaders um it can work pretty well. It just creates sometimes a little more hingy, hingy aspect to your leader, which is not always what we want, especially when we're fishing spooky fish like we do on the West Coast. Um, so this one's got your furled, furled bimini down to your class, tied with a um, probably a modified blood knot. It looks like down to your fluoro bite. Um, this comes in six foot long, so. You gotta add a little bit of butt section to that one. The next one that we offer is a 10 foot, 60 pound, 20 pound class. They do it a little bit different, which I think is, is a kind of a, a decent way to get more of a taper throughout your leader. Um, let me get this unraveled. So these guys start out probably with 60 pound mono down to their first blood knot down to 50 pound mono onto their next blood knot which is attaching their class so they're tapering it from 60 to 50 which is making that transfer of energy from your fly line into your leader a little more fluid um, down to their 20 pound bite and then down to their 60 pound fluoro bite so in recapping our our preset leaders and going into to creating our own tarpon leader. We're really focused on three main things. You've got your butt section, you've got your class, which is gonna be your weakest point um, in the leader, and then you got your bite. For me, my bite's usually gonna be fluorocarbon, and the fluoro that I like using is our, our house brand, Ohiro. Um, I use it all the way from 40 to 60 pounds, sometimes 80, 80's getting a little high. Um, I like it a lot and it's done very well for me. Our class, I like to use what we carry, the Rio hard mono, Mason hard mono is also great. Um, personally, I use 16 and 20. Um, this is important in protecting your, your terminal tackle, your, your rods, your reels. Um, let's say you hooked up with a tarpon and, and a shark comes and you need to break it off quickly. This, this class tippet is key. You can put some pressure on it and snap, there goes the fish, free to swim away. For your butt section, I like to use um, trick fish mono. This is uh, really a personal preference on what kind of mono you like. I prefer this. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's, it's kind of my favorite. Um, for the butt section, I'll use 50 or 60 pound. Um, sometimes I'll add the two like the 10 foot reel, um, but usually I'm gonna do 60 or 50 straight to my class. So to make your own, how I do it, um, for a pretty simple one, let me get it off. I'm gonna do uh, about an eight, eight to nine foot section of 60 pound mono down to a modified blood knot, which is connecting my 20 or 16 pound class. Um, and then about 20 inch section. If you're fishing IGFA, I think it has to be above 17 inches. Um, this is the class. So end of knot to end of knot. 
And then connecting my bite, I'm gonna do the same thing with a modified blood, um, down to 40, 50, or 60 pound fluoro. I usually use this, this type of leader if I'm going to um, use 20 pound class. Um, for 16 pound class tippet, I'm gonna do it a little bit different because it's such a big step from 60 to 16 pound. So on this leader, I'm gonna do the same with a eight to nine foot um, mono butt. And then I'm gonna to go to my modified blood knot with a furled 16 pound bimini and then have the section of the single strand 16 pound class and then back to a modified blood to my bite. So the reason I add this bimini is because of that big difference in, in the diameter and the kind of the flex and bend of 60 pound mono to 16 pound hard mono. So this furling or twisting of the, the two strands together after you do your bimini allows that leader to have a cleaner transfer of energy throughout, throughout the cast and the leader. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to turn over a fly in, in some stronger winds, um, but yeah. So in comparison of the home-built leaders and store-bought leaders, we have a little more control and customization of our home-built leaders, um, knots, type of fluoro, type of mono. Um, and then we have the ease of just pulling a leader out of a package and, and throwing it on the line with the store-bought. Both home-built and store-bought leaders are a great option. Um, they're both going to get you on the water and, and fishing. Uh, so we appreciate you tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next video.